Yeah, I cast North as a channel devoted to the team to adult toy collector, pop culture fans, and fellow nerd enthusiasts. This is a PG-13 channel. I might say some shit. Viewer and parental discretion is advised. I am really stoked that you're all here today. And by the way, can I tell you all that you all are an amazing looking group? Like, look at this guy over here, you know? Yeah, that's right. Look at her. Everybody here looks amazing. And I can't, and I can't stress enough how I personally appreciate you all coming over here, all dressed. You know, it, uh, even though it's like a tuxedo t-shirt over there, you know, I, I, I admit you're, you're all dressed and you're actually here for an amazing occasion because today I'm actually doing some more upgrades. I love upgrades more than anything on Transformers right now. Sometimes I, no, like, I don't really get a chance to get a whole lot in the way of upgrades or anything like that, but when I actually do, I try to make it count. And today, I'm actually going to be taking a look at two particular upgrades. One of them actually has to deal with my crosshairs, who I think could have actually, like, used a whole lot more love from Hasbro and Takara. The second is actually on, um, is actually on Pterosaur, which I didn't know that it was actually going to need an upgrade for, but it's here, so why it's not? It's double upgrade day today, and I really want to make sure that you're all here for a new episode of It's Alive! It's Alive! Where'd this come from? Anyway, so, welcome to my show. I appreciate you all here, and... As always, make sure that you are treating each other and yourselves with kindness today. I'm probably going to remind you at the end of this show, but I just want to make sure that you do that. And for some reason, I feel like wearing this stethoscope here. I don't know why it's actually, I don't know why it's here or anything like that. I think Dr. Demon might have actually left a couple of things here and everything. But anyway, let's go to the review station. I appreciate you all being here. Let's go. To all my loyal fans and followers, I really appreciate you all being here once again for another trip through Nerddom. So if you're actually new here though, I would love it if you actually hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It's a two second thing for you, a great momentous thing for me, as I'm actually still building up on, on uh, subscribers, and I really appreciate if you actually join. Who knows, you might like this channel, you might like it. And now, without any further holdups or shenanigans, let's get on with the review. So, as you might all know, I love upgrades. I love them, I freaking love them so, 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 so much. Oh my god, I love them. Do I love upgrades? Yes, I do. And I actually found a good pair of upgrades that I really wanted to talk about. And I really wanted to do this in separate videos and everything, but like I'm actually so excited about all of this, everybody, that I actually had to talk about it right now because I actually got upgrades for crosshairs over here who never came with proper wheelage and that sort of thing. Or like a proper weapon, like he actually has this thing, which is actually always great. And um, if you actually went off and bought Megatron, like the, uh, the Netflix version of Megatron and everything, you also got like this guy right over here, Pinpointer. But I'm actually gonna tell you about a couple of upgrades that I actually found on eBay from a store called Sweet Store. There is a pair of upgrades that actually gives you the wheels that Crosshairs absolutely needed in his life, you know? I was actually gonna do this with like a Lego, with like Lego, uh, with like Lego parts, but then all of a sudden I saw these and I was just like, eh, you know what? Why am I gonna do it myself, you know? Even though it says do it yourself, you know? And then also, from Link, uh, from Larkin's Lair, he actually uh, sent me this set 
of just very, very cool parts over here for Pterosaur. Now, if you can't see it from my camera already, these parts are gleaming. And I love that so much already. Let me give you a really, really close look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He is just really awesome looking now. And the parts are really easy to install and everything, you know? Like, these pieces alone, like, I just want to give you just like a really good look at this. And there are, there, you're not going to be able to see it from a camera or anything like that because like, I, I've actually got my light. Oh, wait a second. Let me see if I can lower the light a little bit more so you can actually see it a little bit better because I know I actually love light myself and everything. I love it. But like over here, you're actually going to see like a lot of the riveting of like the actual print of the 3D and everything. Ah, oh, there it goes right there, right there. You're actually going to see like a lot of the printing of the 3D. Does it ruin it for this? Not at all. Because when you actually get this, you actually get just such a brilliant part. Like, they're all brilliant. Like, I really love everything that this guy actually does. Lincoln's Lair, Larkin's Lair, I'm sorry about that. I keep on fudging up your name here and everything, but Larkin's Lair actually makes some really, really great parts here and everything. I'm super impressed. You actually have like a notch right over here that you can actually install into the wings themselves and everything. That's actually very cool. And look at how shiny that part is. I don't even know what kind of plastic you're actually using, but dude, this is fantastic work here. I love it. And you actually install them right into Pterosaur right here. There's that transformation joint that actually goes inside of it, that actually goes inside the body when he's actually transforming. And all you're actually doing is just making sure you push his head just a little bit, enough to like actually give him a little bit more, a little bit less vantage and everything when you're actually installing this part. But once you actually do install it, it is there, it's secure, and it's not falling out whatsoever, which is great. But not only that, but these wings all together sometimes can actually be wonky. I actually know that I put like a lot of Kiki's fixed loose joints in there to, in order to like actually make it stable and everything. What Larkin's Lair actually did was he actually sent these little pieces right here, and I don't want to lose them or anything like that, but this little piece right here actually makes a world of difference. Again, with that same kind of like shiny plastic and everything that's actually very, very cool. And, and once you actually get it, there's like, uh, there's gonna be like a little piece right over here you just have to knock off and everything. Once that's actually done, it installs really easily right into here. You can actually see where I, can, where I put my uh, joint stiffener. But once you actually put this in, you are, there is no sore sites right over there. And that looks beautiful. I love that so much. Again, those parts are just like really the kind of like what makes Pterosaur look a, so much better, like 100,000% better. Like, look at this guy now. He just looks like a badass. And let me just get a couple of things right over here. They are Blast Effects compatible. If you actually wanted to use Blast Effects right over here, look at that. That is just very, very cool. So you can actually have them decked out in every single blast effect that you possibly think of and everything. And they hold. That's really nice. But not only that, but he also has this gun, right? He actually sent oh, he actually sent like a few more goodies my way and everything. And I am really stoked about that because he actually sent not one, but three more weapons over to me and everything. And like, I just want to show you the, the craftsmanship that's actually in this and everything. Cause I don't know, I didn't know that he actually knew if I was actually a reviewer or anything like that. I don't know if he actually knows anything about me so much or anything, but as my first impressions of what he actually sent me, I was super surprised. Thanks a lot for that Larkin, because I am just really enjoying all of these parts. I'm not sure if Pterosaur is actually going to keep this or anything like that. I might uh, like think about giving this over to Alita One and everything, since I kind of feel as though she's actually kind of like lacking for like a for like an iconic weapon and everything altogether. But this looks great.
look at this. I don't know if this is actually Boss FX compatible also. I didn't get your chance to check, but let's see. Uh, yeah, not as much or anything like that. Just based on the barrel right over here. But if you actually do find a weapon that are like a effect that will actually store in there, it can probably be one of the best things you could possibly uh, like get for this thing. Now, I know that like right over here, I know that uh, the, um, I know the blast effects are actually kind of malleable and everything because they actually have like this squishable material over here. Uh, I'm trying to see, yeah, it's not going to work out for me or anything like that. But I'm sure that there may be like a way to like actually fix that so you can actually use it for whatever you actually want it to, uh, want to. But look at this. This is actually just really, really great A class right here. I love it. Style it styling look at this and kind of reminds me of a flamethrower more than anything else you know like i keep on wondering if this should actually be something more of like slag's ulterior weapon or something like that you know that's gorgeous i love the scope here i love like all the detailing here that's really really nice but let me go on to like some of the other weapons he actually gave me here because i am really loving everything here now this is actually supposed to go into pterosaur and this actually fits snugly right into his uh, five millimeter port right there and everything. Just really great. And look at him now. Like, hold on, just let me look at him when I clear up the picture. But look at this guy now. Like this guy just looks like he's actually armed up and ready to go. And if I'm actually gonna say anything, if this was actually like a full version of It's Alive and everything, I would have actually had like Shockwave and Knockout over here just being pretty particularly happy with what they actually created here and everything, you know, because I usually love doing that show. But let me put this down and I'm actually going to show you a couple of other weapons that were actually given to me by Larkin's Lair. Uh, let me just pull this one out right over here. This pistol right over here is gorgeous too. Look at this. Also, very Blast Effects compatible. Just let me put this over here. I love the fact that he actually like thought enough about like giving like a little bit more length to the barrel and everything like that because that's actually very very cool i love that a lot you know that's actually nice i don't know exactly whose weapon this is actually supposed to be and i don't know if it's actually supposed to be like a prowl-esque weapon or like uh, something that actually belongs to jazz right now i actually have this going over to my netflix alita one and I think she actually looks pretty good with it and everything. So, like, that's actually really nice. She's actually got, like, something to call her own. Even though I keep on thinking to myself that flamethrower thing might be, like, a little bit more up to her par. But I'm always looking for something cool for Alita and everything. For Alita 1 to have. And this is actually just, like, a very, very cool pistol. So, that being said, I'm just going to put this aside for now. And also go over to the third weapon, which is this little pea shooter blaster here. Now that's actually very, very cool. And am I right? Is this one blast effects compatible over here also? Let me just get another blast effect over here because I don't want to repeat myself so much or anything, but bam, look at that. That's so cool. I love this. And if you're not using this for like one of your like deluxe size bots or Voyager size bots, this is actually really nice for like a legend size bot altogether. So I'm gonna bring out Wind Charger here. I'm gonna put this in here, and now he actually has a gun that is just great for this kind of size and everything. One thing that I like about this is when you actually transform Wind Charger here, you can actually like leave this on the inside of the car and everything and it doesn't really bump around or anything as much. I might think about like ordering a few more of these all together and everything because I kind of feel like my mini bots actually don't have like enough armaments and everything about them or anything like that. But that's actually so cool. Don't mind me, I'm still working with Wind Charger and like getting him all situated as far as like being more stable and everything. So if you actually see all of this and everything, forgiveness, but like Wind Charger's amazing and I love the fact that he finally now has like not only his master of magnetism abilities and everything but also something to actually use that he can actually uh, let he can actually have that's actually kind of like more of an like an external armament and everything for him so that's very nice i love that 
love that so much. But let's get over to the man of the hour. And like, I, you know, Larkin's Lair, if you actually do order from him, please do, because he actually just has some really great stuff here. This is a version, uh, this is the gun that actually came with Hasbro, which wasn't really Black Effects compatible unless you actually stretch the material and everything. But still yet though, you can't deny that that isn't cool altogether or anything like that, you know? Also, I just wanted to see if this actually works out here. And let's see. Let's just install that right there. There we go. So if you actually did transform him into his uh, into his dino mode and everything and decided to use this, that actually uh, that piece actually just kind of like stays on and it's not going anywhere. Really, really nice stuff. Love this so much. Like I'm actually like this actually just kind of like made Pterosaur one of my favorite bots in the whole entire thing. So Larkin, you are a master at your craft, sir. Thank you so much for like everything that you actually sent over. And now let me take you into this guy that calls himself Sweet Shop on the uh, on the interwebs there and everything. This is actually coming from this is actually coming from eBay from a store called Sweet Shop, and you actually have. Now, I actually just ordered another pair of upgrades from him and everything for my Rotor Storm, but this one altogether, just very, very cool. I love this so much, and it's actually such an easy upgrade. You actually have these giant wheels over here and everything that you actually just take off. Oh, wait, here we go. Um, there goes Iron Hide right over here. I just wanted to give you a before and after and everything. And I didn't want to like take off the parts over here or anything like that. Not that I'm lazy or anything like that, but I kind of just like love the fact that he actually looks the way he does right now. And I just don't want to take these off at all or anything like that. But your standard iron hide, you're actually getting rid of this panel on crosshairs. You're actually taking off the old wheels that are actually just really easy to take off and everything. All it is, is just like unsnapping it right from there and you've actually got the wheels off and everything so it's not really a huge issue same thing going in here and once you actually do that all you're doing all it is is plug and play so all you're actually doing is plugging this thing right over here it's actually going to be a really really tight fit going in here there are a couple of pieces right over here and over here that you're putting right where the hinges were and you're installing these wheels over here. This one has like a little scuffing. I really don't care or anything like that. It just is what it is and everything. But those are actually gonna be a tight fit also. And once you actually have that, oh, and it's this piece right over here. Because what's a uh, crosshair is gonna be without his asymmetrical window and everything, you know? Like, isn't, that is just so awesome. I love this. It comes in a little bit uh, more of a uh, different coloring of red, but it's not so bad where it's actually totally distracting or anything. And all you're doing is just plugging that right where you actually have that blast effect port right here and everything. There may be all, there's gonna be some paint that you're actually gonna have to get past that and everything. But aside from that, now you actually have a crosshairs that is worthy of being called crosshairs and everything. I really, really think that's actually great. And in fact, it's actually kind of like making me feel like you should actually get the other filler parts and everything to actually bring this guy a little bit more truer to life and everything. But very, very cool stuff. And the transformation doesn't really like differ from like what you actually had before with crosshairs or anything. So I'm actually just going to give you a quick transformation here. And I just want to show you what this guy actually looks like once you actually do everything. Because, and then we'll open this up and then swing this guy around. And also, you don't have to worry about like the other pieces right over here that were actually the hinges that always came off and everything at like all kinds of like, with just like breathing on it incorrectly or something, you know, because like now, you actually have a crosshairs that actually kind of like fits his style and everything. I'm kind of like feeling like uh, maybe Ironhide might need some of this action or something. You still have these panels though. So you just have to like open that up and bring all of this in here. Uh, I guess it's like my official review of crosshairs. And once you've actually done that, 
you just bring this up. And then these wheels actually go right here and right here. And then you just want to lower the wheels back here and everything because they actually have like their couple pieces right over here. It's kind of like a squeaky kind of a thing that you're actually doing here, but you just want to bring them back like this so they are actually angled just like so. And hold on, just let me do this again. There we go right into that peg panel. And then all you wanna do is bring this all the way back over here. Once and doing that, you actually have a crosshairs that actually says crosshairs here. And that is just brilliant altogether. You actually have this, let's see, we have the, still the asymmetrical window here. If you didn't wanna use like the other weapon altogether, just let me fix this a little bit. If you didn't wanna like have the, uh, if you didn't wanna use this weapon altogether, you could actually still use pinpointer here and everything. And that's actually very cool. Um, that's really, really nice. I really like that so much. And then there we go. We just like install this over here. These things aren't gonna really fit on as perfectly as you'd actually want them to, but there we go, and just let me put pinpointer right over here, and there we are. Just really cool, and just very armed up and everything all together, so he is actually bringing the moxie to anything that he actually gets out that he actually goes against. And there we go, just so you can actually see exactly what he looks like, all armed up and ready to go. And this guy just became like, just really, really impressive and everything. I am loving this guy so much. Haven't really put this guy down since I actually got him, nor Pterosaur here. But like, that's actually so cool. I'm gonna give you a comparison of what he actually looks like in vehicle mode next to another guy. There we go, just like a quick comparison between him and Earthrise Ironhide here. And there we go, futuristic vehicle against like your regular Earth mode vehicle and everything. Just very, very cool. And I just kind of still need to get like Earth mode wheels for Ironhide and Ratchet and everything. And then they may be a little bit more complete and everything. But just look at that. I love the fact that you actually have like such a wide wheelbase on this. Really, really nice all together. Just like, just showing you exactly what these guys actually kind of like look like so you can actually get like a better view of like this monstrous machine that this guy is now and everything. I like this so much. Actually, I like both of these guys. I'm gonna give you a quick uh, look in Pterosaur and a uh, look at Pterosaur in his, um, in his dino mode. And here we go, a quick look at Pterosaur in his, uh, in his dino mode and, ugh, terrifying. Like, look at this. I love the fact that you can actually put the guns, like, right underneath his wing. His original wing, his original weapon can actually be held right over here, right on his thigh still, so that's great. But this extra bit, it's just fantastic. Like, I love the fact that you can, that you actually have, like, a little, like, more, uh, blingage on his wings and everything like that. Like I love how shiny and silvery that actually is. I love that so much. Larkin's Lair, like incidentally, like I really need for you to make more of these and these colors. Like that's actually super, super cool. And I really enjoy the work that you actually do. Again, you are fantastic. You are a god among men, sir. A god among men. Anyway. But this is really it, and I really love like all these upgrades and everything. Again, like this uh, collecting thing has actually been like a, a little bit more um, amazing because of the fact that we actually have upgrades that we can actually like look into, as you can tell from my illustrious E3 trailer here and everything. But I love this so much, and I think it's actually great. Any way that you can actually make your uh, your hobby a little bit more complete and everything, I say do it, damn it. No, didn't mean to knock him over. Anyway, I'm gonna come up with some final thoughts and I will return. Now, how much I loved Pterosaur before, but now with these new upgrades, he's even more amazing. And I actually have to say the same thing about Crosshairs here. Both are actually amazing. Both actually have these amazing new upgrades for them, and I couldn't be happier. Sometimes upgrades are actually one of the things that makes collecting that much more fun, and I love these. Highly suggested. Are they both worth it? 
Yeah, they are. I think they're actually really awesome. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun once you actually get them. Once again, I appreciate each and every single one of you for joining me once again. Mm, I love having you with me and everything. And I appreciate you all for joining me because you could actually be doing so many other things with your day. I'm actually happy that you're sharing some of it with me today. Remember, the most awesome thing that you can actually do is being kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other out there. Make sure that kind of spreads out there like wildfire because there's too much hatred out there. Don't be a bully, right? And number two, just make sure that you're kind to yourselves because you are absolutely worth it. I can't wait to see your faces here once again. And remember, when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. I'll definitely talk to you soon.